Now we're going to pair the iPad with the tester and continue the training from that iPad. You will first need to go to the App Store and download the Laversab app called 2-CH, uh, which stands for two channel. And from there, you will be able to uh, launch the app once you're connected to the test set. After you downloaded the app from the App Store, you will go in settings, go in Wi-Fi, and select the test set that has the same serial number as the test set you are using. Here you will see a Wi-Fi network showing up, showing LAV-86471. And I will make a check here to make sure that the serial number is matching. This is to ensure that you're connecting to the right test set if multiple checks are going on in the same hangar with different boxes. When I click on the network, I will be asked for a password. The password is L A V U S and then 505. To confirm, I click on join. Now I go back to the main menu and I will launch the two channel Laversab app. Make sure not to download the three channel app, which is only made for the Model 6600NG specially built for smart probe aircraft. As you can see, the interface between the wired remote and the Wi-Fi remote is very similar, which means if you've been trained on one unit, you've been trained on the other. In order to start the iPad, I will now push the power button for a couple of seconds and all of the data will be populated right from the wired remote. Et voilà. Couple of notes on the iPad. Once your iPad is connected to the tester, the wired remote will show wireless remote enabled keypad locked, which means you cannot do anything on the wired keypad once your wireless device is on. And that is because we do not want to have multiple interfaces being able to operate the same test set. Additionally, once you have connected one wireless device, you will not be able to connect another wireless device. And whenever you try to connect here in the settings, in Wi-Fi, another device to that network, you will get an error message. Finally, if by any chance your iPad should lose power or malfunction, your wired remote will automatically regain control after a timeout of about 30 seconds.